does size really matter? That's a good question. Did you know that there's actually a little bit of maths you can do to figure out the right size of TV you should have in your living room? I'm Luke Hopewell, editor of Gizmodo Australia, and thanks to Dick Smith, we're here to help you crunch the numbers. Picking the right size TV might seem difficult, but it's easy once you know the rules that determine the best screen for your living space. Buying a TV that's too small might leave your living room looking empty, and you won't get the immersive viewing experience that you really want. But too large a TV will not only take up too much space in your living room, but it also won't look as good as you want. Contrary to popular belief, there is such a thing as a TV that's too large for a room. If you're sitting in the best spot to view your TV, and you still have to move your head to comfortably view the edges of the screen, it's too big. It might seem great when you get it out of the box, but after a couple of weeks, you'll find it annoying. Buying a TV that's too small is actually a safer bet than buying a TV that's too large. If you can buy a small TV, you can always move your couch closer to the screen. But if you buy a large TV, you can't move your couch further away from the wall that it sits against. There's a simple mathematical rule to follow when it comes to picking the right size TV for your living room. Since most TV screen sizes in Australia are measured in inches, the simple rule is that you should measure the distance from your TV's location to your ideal viewing location, and then divide that by two. So for example, say you sit 100 inches away from where you'll place your TV. That's around two and a half meters. A 50 inch screen in that instance is around the right size for comfortable viewing. There's a fair range of room to move in this rule though, so a 46 or a 55 inch screen should look just as good. A good way to mock up a potential TV screen size in real life is to do a bit of arts and crafts in your home. If you're planning on wall mounting your TV, use builder's tape on your wall to blank out a potential TV's dimensions and then leave the tape there for a week just to see how it feels. If you're planning on leaving your TV on an entertainment unit for example, find a cardboard box of around the same size and dimensions or just tape one together to see how it looks. Leave it there for a week and if you're comfortable proceed with the purchase. Now in your ideal TV viewing scenario, you'll be sitting directly front on to the TV with your natural eye line at the very center of the screen's vertical height. So you don't have to move your neck or your eyes up or down to see the entire screen. The best way to work out your ideal screen size for that scenario is to sit on your ideal spot for viewing and measure out something that suits and then keep within your purchasing choices within that size range. By following these simple rules, you should find the ideal screen size for your purchasing needs.